Okay, so I have a little story for you guys. Two months ago, well, at this point it's like five months ago, I wanted to build a new PC, which I have now. So I went to Micro Sentinel. Micro Sentinel has tons of deals. You can get good products, pretty cheap. I found that half of the things I wanted was cheap at Micro Sentinel. So I decided, hey, let's go. Me and a couple buds, let's go. We took a field trip to the closest Micro Sentinel, two hours away and looked at some things and I picked up my stuff. While we were looking through one of the aisles, the keyboard and mouse aisle specifically, there was a sales representative talking to someone and he was talking about this one doll mouse. I was very intrigued by why a mouse would be a one doll mouse. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I let the sales representative finish his pitch, and then I grabbed one. And now we're here. I have this mouse, and I've used it a little bit. Did I mention I bought it for 99 cents? Anyways, here's the review. The mouse is a Rosewell Ion D10, which usually sells for about $20, but I literally got it for 99 cents. Overall, the mouse is a little heavy. It's about 120 grams, based on my, my, my scale. Which is not too heavy, but it's heavier than like some of those final mice you have. One notable thing is that the cable's actually like on the right side of the mouse, which is kind of weird, but you get used to it pretty fast. Like the drag is slightly different. And the cable's like six feet long, so like that's not an issue at all. It has one additional button in the middle, which is a DPI switcher, which you can set different profiles, but it also comes with some default profiles that changes the DPI and the color of the mouse. And then other than that, there's some lights on the sides of the mouse. It has two mouse buttons as you expect, but it also has two side buttons that you can actually assign other functions in the program. Overall, the software is like fine. I didn't play too much with it. You can change the color of the mouse, you can rebind the buttons to different macros. Honestly, not bad, but pretty simple t compared to other devices. So like, how is it? Well, to begin, we have to talk about my experiences with other mice. I've really only used two other mice. My Razor Death Addle and a garbage $5 mouse that I bought on Wish.com as a joke, if you want to check that video check it out. This mouse isn't, it's, it's not bad. Like, it's pretty good. Like, if you gave me this mouse and you said, I have to use this mouse, I wouldn't be sad. Like, honestly, it's a mouse. What do you, what do you want? My only complaint is that you might have been able to hear it, but whenever you shake the mouse, the mouse wheel is slightly loose, which is pretty annoying, actually. It doesn't, like, register a click or anything, it's just annoying. So like, what's the moral of the story? Well, obviously, one, is Microsoft was super cool. I felt like a kid in a candy store. Like, I was so excited to be in that building. I've never been to one, admittedly. So like, it was peach. We spent like an hour, maybe two, just walking around, even though I ordered my stuff online. Two, Microsoft has pretty good deals. I knew from the internet that Microsoft had lots of deals, but like, there was more than one dollar mice there. There was, you can save $50 on a CPU, $20 on a motherboard, so many, so many good deals that is only at Microsoft. Plus, sometimes they offer like free USBs and SD cards for just showing up. Three, sometimes you will find something good, where you least expect it. Life is crazy. I didn't expect to walk into that store and find find this mice this mouse mice mouse this mouse although this is like pretty like insignificant part of my life right i just think it's like pretty cool how like the stars kind of aligned for me even though like this is meaningless but i think it was pretty cool so yeah if you couldn't tell i'm i'm very happy i found this it won't replace my main mouse by any means i love my main mouse this mouse has been with my laptop anytime I needed it. So if you guys find a one dollar mouse, buy it. What's the worst that can happen? Thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, that's the video.